Good evening, everyone. British constructor Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Italian Grand Prix here at Monza as part of Season 13 of the Gavra Racing League for Tier 2. I'm Jack TM53, your commentator for both tiers of the Weekend League. And boy, do we have a fascinating season in store you join us tonight for the evaluation race around a very wet monza circuit and the drivers will be getting themselves a little bit of a feel for the track conditions on the brand new f123 game developed by codemasters and of course published by ea sports a couple of drivers out on circuit already and we believe that the wet weather will be staying not just for the qualifying session but the race as well so it'll be a chance to see who can get their first marks on the board in the overall bragging rights before the season starts officially next week in Melbourne, Australia. So here we are then. Let's see how the drivers get on around this circuit. But before we do talk about the, you know, on track situation, I do want to run through the drivers who are out on circuit. You're currently following T Money 460. who's just gone off the road on the exit of turn one. He's just getting out of the way of everyone in these challenging conditions. But we've got a few new drivers in the league for this season. We've got J, I'm going to call him J-Dog, who's currently position one on the provisional timings at the moment. Team Money 460, he's new to the league as well. You've got Kobe P, who's driving the Alfa Romeo, and that is Scatcher in the wall on the exit of Ascari already. So he is not going to get any more running in for the rest of this short qualifying session. For those are the new drivers, though, the three that I've just mentioned. We do have two returning drivers who haven't been in the league for some time. You've got Mikey RK13 in the Williams, back for the first time in two seasons. And Antzar97 is also back as well. He had a bit of a bit part campaign uh, last time around, so it's good to see him in for this evening. We've also got Cable Unky, who raced last season, Harren Alley 30, Fake Knutson. You've got Utley Toy TA, arguably one of the pre season favourites for tier two after his exploits last season. Tussy Boy 93 is also there. Don't, don't worry, his other friend, Sick Boy, is in there. Melo Bello has just set the fastest lap of the session so far. And alongside that, you have Il Checho, another potential favourite for this season, and Scatcher 81, who has already found the wall on the exit of Turn 10 at Ascari. But let's see the on-track action. We've got two Alfa Tauris currently top, but both of them surpassed by the McLaren of Sick Boy 16 there on a 132.1. This is venturing into the unknown for a lot of the drivers. Of course, this is a brand new game. That means there's updates coming out every couple of weeks, and the drivers will have to be responding to the challenges that they will face as a result of that. And this wet weather around a very traction-heavy circuit because of the chicanes and the slower corners, that means the drivers are going to have to get used to that 
under the new settings and handling model that's been introduced for this year's game. As Fake Nutson in the Red Bull now goes provisionally pole on a 32.1. Fake Nutson for looking for a first victory in the league. It'd be good to see him. Jade moved himself into third. Cable Monkey there just on a, an initial tiptoe effort of a 136. He's also invalidated his best lap. Or rather, his next lap, I should say. A couple of other drivers coming in there as well. Sick Boy, of course, I've already mentioned. Tutty Boy up to third in the Alpine. So Alpine three and four. That's Team Money getting himself into fifth position. But still a long way to go. A number of drivers, of course, still haven't set a qualifying lap time. Uh, USA Toy TA, Kobe P, Mikey all on out laps at the moment. There is a yellow flag at Sector 1. That's just one of the Red Bulls that's run across the runoff area. And that is Ansar into the 1 minute 30. It's a 130.9 in the Alfa Romeo. In that kick delivery, the red and black Alfa Romeo there, updated for this season. That's a good lap time, very handy in these conditions. Oh, huge slides across the track already. I'm watching a few drivers fight in these conditions. Of course, in these conditions, you've got to use the Pirelli wet weather tyres, the blue ringed tyres that you can see on your screen. We're just following one of the Mercedes. That's Haran Ali coming around this final corner. He is in second place at the moment with that effort. And he has had some times as Haran Ali. has been in fights for podiums before. Hasn't quite managed to ascend to the top step of the podium, but don't rule him out if he can keep up this sort of form. It's 11 cars now have set their lap times. Mikey RK13 just about to go on to his first flying lap as well. We're following Tutty Boy at the moment. He's gone into the pits. So we'll see how everybody else is doing at the moment. Mikey making his way into the first chicane. Gets himself through relatively fine, no problems at all. Drivers have got to be very careful in these wet weather conditions. And you can see the lines all across the track as we ride on board with him. Up to 205 miles an hour on the brakes. Down into third gear. And a little bit wide at the apex, has to run over that sausage curb. Has the tail out as a result, but no real harm done. It gives you a chance for the drivers just to get used to these conditions. It, I can't imagine that everyone will be sat and setting their fastest lap on the first time around as he comes through Lesmo 2. Yeah, and a little bit of kick of oversteer on the exit, but nothing major for the Williams. His teammate currently fifth on a 132.5, so that'll be Mikey's benchmark. Oops, the inside kerb. Oh, you can see how slippery the curbs are. Oh, is Mikey fighting for control on the exit of turn 10? But it looks like it'll be a valid lap, and that'll be something for him to improve on as he goes around the circuit. Tussie Boy looks like he's going for intermediate tyres, it looks like he's selected there. But Mikey's on this final corner, historically known as Parabolica. It has been officially renamed, of course, to Curva Alboreto. Mikey goes into the top 10 with a 134.196, a thousandth of a second of the Alpha Tauri of Milo Bello. Now, I'm just looking here. Tutty Boy's still in the pits, but he is on intermediate tyres he's selected. We'll see whether he does go out on those tyres. That could still change. JMB Surreal is improving on his lap. Il Checho we're riding on board with at the moment. And he's backed out of that lap. JMB Surreal, though, coming around the final corner. He is certainly improving on his lap time. This will see him move up the field, and it does. It puts him into ninth place. He disposes Mikey, drops Mikey down into tenth place in the Williams. But there's plenty of time for everyone to get more laps in. There's still eight minutes remaining in this session. Il Checho, certainly one of the pre-season favourites alongside US Toy TA, but Ants are... As we've seen before, he's won in Tier 1 in the past. I suspect if Ansar is really fast this evening, he'll be moving into Tier 1 as well. But there was some good crossover last season. Tier 1 and Tier 2 were as quick as one another at times, and that was really positive for the competitiveness of both leagues. Kobe P on a 143.7, certainly not representative on the debutante. I'm sure he could go a lot quicker than that.
drivers will be just applying themselves and that's more like it from Kobe P. That puts him into ninth position on a 133.7. So it looks very close in the midfield from seventh through to 14th. Just 1.4 seconds separates those drivers. A little bit of a gap further forward, but I suspect in the race, this will come together a lot more. But time still ticking down at the moment. Doesn't look as if it's getting any drier. I haven't said that though. Totty Boy is out on the intermediate compound. So I'm going to watch him. Spanel also selecting the intermediate. So are the conditions starting to fall back towards intermediate running? It's very difficult to tell from the camera angles that I've got. It looks very wet out there. Totty Boy going deep into turn one does get the exit for turn two that he would have wanted up through the gears up to eighth and then absolutely flat around Curva Grande even his wet weather conditions he's two and a bit tenths down on his first sector so oh, as he clamps the inside orange sausage curb there he's got to keep it nice and tidy for the time being does Tutty Boy and get those Intermediate tyres into the right working condition. Greenwald Pirelli's, of course. Flat out towards Ascari. 205 miles an hour in eighth gear. On the brakes into third gear for Totty Boy. Tiptoes his way through Ascari. Very minimal movement than he needed to get through those corners. Spannel's now out on the intermediate tyres as well. So the man in the Alfa Romeo last season, now in the Williams, up in third place. Can he improve on those intermediate tyres? Tutti Boy, though, he's going to round this final corner here at the Curva Alvareto. It won't be an improvement on his lap time, but he must feel that the tyre conditions later on in this quality session are going to get drier. That's why he's out there. And Sick Boy moves himself into second place. That's a very good effort from the McLaren. That's a very good position for him to be in with five minutes to go in this session. So is the is the conditions of the racetrack now just getting a little bit easier? Is it not as heavy for the wet weather? I've just watched USD Toy TA, I believe it was, move up a position. Ansar has retired from the from the session I've just spotted, so Ansar won't be going any quicker. Obviously, Toy TA, a race winner last season in Tier 2. He is in eighth position at the moment. I do have to say, oh, Harren Ali gets himself into second place with a 131.0. Now, if Antar is out of the session, expect that time to potentially be toppled if the weather conditions are starting to come back towards the wet tyre runners and especially the intermediate tyre runners. Spanel being one of those intermediate drivers. He's about to go onto a flying lap. Let's see if he improves in this Williams. I'm going to watch him on the brakes into turn number one and two. Taking it very steady. Doesn't want to get outbreak himself into those two corners, but he's done okay. Big kick of oversteer on the exit. And he's backed out of it already. So Spanel's going to have to work his tyres again. Get them back up to speed. That's someone going quite slowly round the final corner, but all is okay by the looks of it. Oh, Will Checho has spun down the main straight. That's a bit of a peculiar one. I'm not sure why that's occurred. Antzar has just commented to say that he didn't know the track was going to be better and he did his time on his first lap. That's very true. So we could be at risk of losing some spots here. Still time for everybody else to improve. Sick Boy has gone back into the pits, as has Tutty Boy. J Dog has just emerged out on circuit on his outlap, but he's got no front wing. And I don't think J Dog is going to have enough time to get back around the circuit. So I think J Dog's qualifying session is done. Fortunately for him, oh, the Mercedes off the road there. Look like Cable Monkey for that matter. Well, Kobe P, can he improve? He doesn't as he comes across the line. He's got another lap ahead of him. Very little time left in this session, though. Four drivers to improve. A couple of drivers, though, are in the pits, so maybe they've got 
the opportunity to get round, get back out, new set of tyres. I'm watching Spanel tiptoeing around the final corner. And he carries on. So he's going to have one last attempt to potentially get on the front row, maybe even take a first ever pole position at Gavra Racing for Spanel. He's had a couple of podiums. He tends to have a different strategy to everybody else to Spanel, but that puts him in good positions. He ran a bit deep into turn one. He's struggling on the exit of turn two. And you would say Toy TA provisionally takes pole with a 130.8. That's a good effort from the Haas driver. I've just spotted Haran Ali has left the session. I hope he can get back in. That is unfortunate. Looking very good in these conditions was Haran. But we will find out whether the drivers are going to go any quicker Sick Boy's still in the pit, so they feel clearly they can't go any quicker than that. Il Checho's in sixth place. Melo Bello's in eighth place in the Alpha Tower. He's moved up the field. Anybody? Whoa, JMB Surreal has spun on the exit of the second chicane. And that is his lap finished. He might just have enough time. I was going to say he might have enough time, but he won't. He has decided to go back and retire from the session. He got in the way of Cable Monkey there, who is on a flying lap. Tutty Boy in the top 10. T-Money also in the top 10 on his debut. Mikey RK13, J-Dog. They're not going to go any quicker, obviously. J-Dog with that broken front wing I was mentioning earlier. Spanel has not improved on those intermediate tyres. He has one last lap to try and do something about it in this Williams. That's the first time I've seen him get the first corner spot on, and his exit from turn two is also pretty decent. El Checho's on his out lap. He's not going to get a lap time in, so it all comes down to whether Spanel can improve in these certainly lighter wet weather conditions. He is improving in the first sector. He's two and a half tenths up as he approaches the second chicane. Nice exit from the Williams as he approaches Lesmo 1, turn 6, 5th gear, 4th gear for the intermediates around that corner. Nice and planted on the exit. And then he, will he go down to 4th? He does. He hits the apex nicely on the exit of Lesmo 2. No DRS, of course, in the wet weather conditions despite crossing the line. That can't be activated. And he's improving still. He is going quicker, his Spanel. He's about three tenths up, so it's going to come down to how well he gets through Ascari, and he does very well there in the Williams. A couple of more cars. That's Haran Ali, who's in third. Tutty Boy's in fifth. Did see an improvement from somebody else. That's Aston Martin coming towards the final corner. And that is qualifying over for everybody, bar Spanel. Can he make any impression on the cars in front of him as he rounds the final corner? Where will this put him? It was an improvement, and it looks like... He's got himself onto the second row of the grid, so that call for the intermediates right at the end worked out for Spanel. But the man on pole position is the Haas of Uitley Toy TA. He will start from the front row of the grid. He'll have a clear track in front of him. Ansar is in second. I suspect there's more speed to come from the Finnish driver. Haran Ali is third with Spanel in fourth on the intermediates. Sick Boy is fifth, Totty Boy in sixth place. Then row four. Milo Bello in the Alpha Tauri and Il Checho in eighth place. The two Red Bulls are next, next of course, with Fake Nuts and Team Money, the best of the debutantes, in 10th place. Kobe P alongside in 11th, JMB Surreal in 12th. Cable Monkey 13th. J Dog we saw with the broken front wing, didn't go any quicker in 14th. Mikey 15th and Scatcher 81 didn't set an outlap after crashing on the exit of the Scari and the Ferrari in 16th place. So a couple of comments already coming into the Twitch stream. A lot of people are very excited for this first race of season 13. The evaluation race, of course, doesn't go towards the championship, but it does give you an idea of where the driver's competitiveness is at for the upcoming five rounds that we have in front of us. It's a 35% race for today. Only the one typical gather running. You'd have the first race of 35%. The second race will be 25%. 
and there is more rain inbound it doesn't look as heavy as it did earlier in our qualifying session it looks like it's intermediate conditions but who knows the conditions may change as we go around the 19 laps i believe around monza this evening but do put a comment in below who you think will be victorious for the evaluation race a couple of drivers within a couple of tenths of one another including Haran Ali who I, who, who I hope has got back in well here we go then five lights in front of us who's going to make the best start and the race is live from Monza. Looks like a relatively decent start from the front two. Antar is alongside USC Toitia as they come towards turn one. Antar is in front. Who will be the last of the late breakers into turn one? It's Italy Toy goes a little bit deeper. Contact between the two. That's one of the Red Bulls going across the road. But Antar has got himself into the lead. Italy Toy is second. Spanel is up to third. Good start for him. Sick boy. Then there's a bit of a gap backwards. Haran Ali, I think, has got control of his car, fortunately. So he's back in the race. Il Checho there in seventh place. They're side by side as they go around the curve of Grande and on the brakes into the Variante Alto 2. That's fake nuts in an eighth place fighting with T Money. And the Ferrari going side by side of FLV Ricky, who's got himself in big wobbles on the exits as everyone tries to find and apply the power. It's a bit of a gap backwards, seems to have been a bit of chaos elsewhere. Melo Bello seems to be leading a group of four who've got a bit of a gap back to those in front. So, oh, there's carnage on the exit of Lesbo too. That's the Ferrari, there's a Red Bull. They're all into the wall. That's a yellow flag in sector two. Will there be a safety car? Perhaps not. Ricky, though, has no front wing. Mikey RK did brilliantly to avoid all of that. Haran Ali, unfortunately, dropping like a stone, but no sign of a safety car as we move towards the end of lap one. Wow, what a load of chaos there was already, but Ansar leads the way. He's got half a second of a gap on USC Toy TA. Then it's Spanel in third place. Good start for him. Sick boy in four. Sutty Boy in fifth position, Fake Nuts in sixth. Mikey up to seventh. What a start he has had. Up eight places from the back of the grid, avoiding all the carnage. Cable Monkey's going with him as well. He's in eighth position as Kobe P picks up a five-second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane, as does FRV Ricky, unfortunately, for those two drivers. But that is a great start for Mikey and Cable Monkey. Oh, contact going into turn one. Between Team Money and JMB Surreal, that's a time penalty for corner cutting for those two. And have to keep him as clean as possible. And Team Money goes past JMB Surreal for the moment. But what a frenetic start we have had. And the front two are already pulling away. Ansar and Yusli Toitier have got a one and a half second gap over Spanel and Co. in front. There's a Ferrari riding on board with that's got to be Scatcher. He's up to 12th place after starting 16th. That's worked out well for him, but the man who's lost out more than anybody is Haran Ali, sadly, down in 17th place. Have a yellow flag briefly in sector two. But nothing doing there. It's one of the Red Bulls closing in. Team Money goes past Scatcha with ease. Of course, no DRS available in the wet weather conditions, so Team Money certainly has a more straight line speed oriented car although he runs off the road and that's the ferrari surely going back through ers for the pair of them but scatcher will have the better exit coming towards curva alberetto team only trying to hold on the inside j dog watching the two of them behind it's a good exit for team money Boy, go wheel to wheel down the main straight but scatcher is back behind team money they now swap places Gatcha, will he try and break a little bit later? It doesn't look like he can. And that is completed move for Team Money for 11th position. Wow, a lot of chaos already at the start. That's j Dog getting a better exit from the Ferrari. And he moves up a place as well. Scatcha looks like he hasn't got much straight line speed, so he's going to be vulnerable to the cars behind if they catch up to him. Admittedly, he's running in 13th. And the cars behind are 22 seconds back as Il Checho fights off the Alfa Romeo of Kobe P for 14th. The front two, though, I did say they were getting away, and they definitely are. They are nearly four seconds to the good of Spanel. Running in third place, number 57. 
can't hold the candle to these two up front at the moment. They are running clearly faster than everybody else. Look at the fastest laps. They are two. Their best lap is a second and a half quicker than Spanel. So they are in a world of their own at the moment. And so far, so good. A lot of action on track at the moment. J Dog and T Money very close together for 11th place. That's a nice switch back from the Alpine. I know you're watching the fight at the front, but the Haas of USC Toy TA just can't get on the throttle on the exit of turn two. So he drops back a little bit. Really good fighting between J Dog and T Money. Still not for position in the top 10, though. Ooh, J Dog just got the. Line a little bit wrong, and he makes contact with T-Money. I think he just got caught out by the slow exit speed from T-Money and sadly drops back. That gains Scatcher a position. It's looked like a little bit of an accidental bump. I don't think there was any malice involved in that between the two debutantes, but I'm sure T-Money won't be pleased to say little of it. But it looks like the gaps have just spread out a little bit. In the opening couple of early moments. So it all comes down now to the drivers just acquainting themselves with the conditions. Fake nuts and certainly looks like he's got some speed in that Red Bull this evening. Within a second of the Alpine of Tutty Boy. With the Toy TA there just running around in second place. Going to have to work hard to get back up to the rear wing of that Alfa Romeo. But nobody outside of the lead and two within a second of one another currently in the top 10. Kobe P is very close to FRV Ricky, but they are way down the field at the moment. As I say, that Tutty Boy's got back to his friend of Sick Boy. The two boys together on circuits. Got to say, the Alpine looks incredibly quick in a straight line compared to the McLaren. The yellow flag in sector three. That's Haran Ali. He's facing the wrong way as we focus our attention on the fight for fourth position. Very difficult to follow the cars in these conditions. It does look like there's a few dry lines appearing on circuit. We're not at the point of dry tyres at the moment, but it does certainly look as if the track is drying out a little bit. But there's still steady rainfall, so I'm not expecting that to change anytime soon. So it'll come down to the drivers ensuring that they hold on to these intermediate tyres. Look at this Tutty Boy coming along this inside at turn 11. Side by side, the McLaren and the Alpine. The McLaren runs a little bit wider, has a better exit. But he's back in the wheel, tracks off the McLaren. To the inside goes Tutty Boy. And that is move done. And that McLaren looks very vulnerable in a straight line. And Tutty Boy has got up to fourth. But as I say that, USA Toy TA has left the session. What's happened? The man who was fighting with Ansar for the race lead has sadly lost connection. I will try to invite Ansar, or rather not Ansar, USA Toy TA back into the session, but that is a disaster for the fight at the front. Not certain what's happened. Well, that will give Spano the opportunity to close that gap. There's a Ferrari round, and that's a safety car. We have a safety car here on lap six. Now, this will bunch the field up together. It is Scatcher who's gone round and broken his front wing on the exit of turn two. That's brought everybody back into play. Well, 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 we do have some potential drama ahead of us. So, USC Toy TA, if he can get his car, if he can get himself back into the, into the race, he might not lose a position here. Ansar will be a bit frustrated though because he would have hoped to have pulled away from everybody behind him. And he carries on. Ricky's gone into the pits. You would see Toy TA has gone into the pits, so his AI has taken over. What an exciting development we have here.
Hopefully you can hear me clearly. But Spannell into the pit. Sick boy has carried on. He's elected not to go for another set of intermediates, but everybody else is in the pit. Cable Monkey, another one who hasn't decides the pit. So he goes up to third place. He started 13th. He's now in third place. So maybe hoping for some dry weather running late. Maybe strategically thinking about that as Team Money picks up a time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Well, everybody else filtering out of the pits now. Fake nuts in right behind Tutty Boy on the exit of the pit lane there. So that's certainly a battle that's closed up. So the biggest gainer at the moment is Cable Monkey up 10 places. Mikey's up 7. Of course, Mikey just pitted onto a new soft set of tyres. Everybody's still running the intermediate compound. There's no change there. And just for Gavra, just so you can just comment for us, Gavra, if you can just say if you can hear me clearly any issues with the microphone, do let me know. But that has kind of reset the field. It gives a chance for the drivers who were caught up in the earlier accidents, such as Il Checho, Ricky, Kobe P, Aaron Alley. They can all now close the gaps down. This is a big redemption arc, maybe inbound for the Mercedes of Aaron Alley. He was nowhere in 15th place, but he'll have a chance now to close that gap to the safety car. And Anzar, Sick Boy, Cable Monkey, and USC Toy TA have now caught that group. And Cable Monkey is coming into the pits and he's picked up a time penalty. Oh dear, oh dear. That's not good for the Mercedes. So he's going to have that added to his end of race total. Cable Monkey, I imagine, is going to drop back behind Mikey, Milo, Bella, Will Checho, and JMB Surreal potentially. So that hasn't worked out for Cable Monkey. There he is exiting the pit lane now. But Cable Monkey down in 11th place. He was only one spot behind Mikey, so that's cost him. Not ideal for the Mercedes driver. Both Mercedes out of the top 10. You wouldn't have thought that after qualifying. JMB surreal. Everyone's just trying to catch the safety car at the moment. Mikey just edging up to the back of that now on the exit of Lesmo 1. There they are. You can see the gap has now been closed. Once the camera pans backwards, you should be able to see. There they are coming out that corner. So we're expecting another lap of the safety car, I would imagine. J-Dog is... Oh, well, I say that, but the safety car is in this lap. So that gives Ansar control now. And will Cable Monkey catch up? Well, Cable Monkey's there. Will J-Dog catch up? It's going to be very close. There's all sorts of chaos. As everyone slowed right down, thanks to the Haas of USC Toys, TA's Ghost. And he's got back in just as the safety car is about to come out. So USC Toy TA, can he get control of the car? Or will he lose more spots? Anzar will probably have seen that. And he can go at any time. And the AI will typically be a little bit slower to react. Here we go then for the restart. Anzar has gone. Off he goes. How will everybody else react? Spanel has dropped down to third, fourth place, of course. So Sick Boy will be the first to try and go past the Haas on the approach to turn one. Ansar is miles clear, not a problem for him. What about further back? Tutty Boy overtakes Spanel for fourth place. A good restart for him. Everyone else just filtering through line astern, and a lot of people fortunately did catch the safety car. Haran Ali is the first of the ones who didn't, but he's not too far away. Sick boy, though, trying to pass you with the Toy TA, who has regained control of his car. So, fortunately for him, he's back in the race. Oh, that is. The Williams just getting it all wrong. The Spanish got his teammate right behind. Mikey looking to go around the outside of Fake Nuts and at Lesmo 1. They run each other wide. Fake Nuts are trying to go the inside now with Spanel for fifth place, but that's not going to happen. That's the McLaren of Sick Boy into the gravel trap. It's all a little bit messy at the moment. 
and the drivers are really fighting hard for these positions. Sick Boy's got no straight line speed, but he can't do anything about it. Fake nuts and going for fourth. Just about keeps it on the inside line. It doesn't go past the McLaren. But I said earlier that McLaren looks really slow in a straight line, and sure enough, it does. And Sick Boy's falling past Fake Nutson, who moves into fourth place. I said that Red Bull looked quick earlier, and it is doing. He gets into fourth position. Uitley Toitier and Ansar are fighting for the race lead whilst this is all going on. Uitley Toitier moves to the inside line. They're side by side down the main straight. Contact. Oh, huge contact. Oh, no. It looked as if the two cars came together. Oh, no, that is an absolute disaster, and that might be a safety car. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, USA Toy TA is not going to be happy with that, and that'll be an investigation. Ansar's got a drive-through penalty for speed and under the safety car. Oh, wow. I caught the end of it. It looked as if the two cars moved to the same bit of tarmac. And obviously, two cars can't go into one space. And that is Ansar's race, also pretty much done as well, because he's got a broken front wing. He's going to have to serve a drive-through penalty. So you're looking at the net race lead of Tutty Boy 93. Wow. Tutty Boy 93 might be the man to lead the race, but he's got a time penalty. Just looking to see what that time penalty is, just so I can give you a an update on that. It's a it's a drive through as well. So forget what I've just said. Fake Nutson, the man who's never won a race here with Gabra, is going to be net lead of this Grand Prix. That'll mean that Uitley Toitier is going to have to come in, get a new front wing. So that'll put Mikey in second and Spanel in third. James Vows, the Williams CEO, will be absolutely delighted because his two cars are going to be running effectively second and third. And surely Uitley Toitier is going to come into the pits. Yeah, sure enough, Azar in as well. And Tutty Boy. Now, Tutty Boy is coming into the pits, but he can't serve his drive through penalty under the safety car. So, unless he's got damage... As you can see, the order now shakes out fake nuts and leads. Mikey's in second, which is an incredible turn of events. He doesn't have a time penalty either. He's up 13 places. Mikey never won an F1 league race in all of his leagues that he's competed in. I know Mikey very well. He's had a number of podiums over time, but he's never won a race. He's in a good spot here, as is Spanel. As is Fake Nuts in the top three, all looking for their first ever victory in league racing. This is absolutely incredible. The evaluation race here for Tier 2 has just gone, ascended to a whole new level. Il Checho could be the spoiler in the party. He has got a time penalty of three seconds, but he's won races before. JMB Surreal looking for a race victory, looking for a podium. What a result that would be. He's had podiums before. Melo Bello as well, Cable Monkey. The highest debutant, J Dog, has kind of kept himself out of trouble as eighth. Harren Alley now in ninth position. What a redemption arc it could be for the Mercedes. And then Ricky in tenth place. Scatcher, despite everything with Scatcher, always seems to find himself in a position where he could be fighting for points in the Ferrari. That's what his aim has to be this season for the for the Ferrari team under the wet weather conditions they've got to be looking for points and Scatch has got to be hoping he can improve his baseline performance but this has been absolutely incredible this evening so far just to answer a couple of questions in the chat at the moment uh, from Pushadino is this the first race it's the first evaluation race it doesn't count towards points but it is certainly the first race in quotation marks of the season but it doesn't matter if it's a doesn't count towards the championship anybody of the top three they've never won a race before if they were to win they would take that to heart and they would have a a very buoyant start to the season i'm sure but the nerves will be setting in now for these three they'll be thinking how do i go about making this a race win don't forget the weather is also starting to dip a little bit as well there's still rain on circuit but i'm looking at the tire tracks and it certainly could be wet dry weather running by the end of this race it's certainly not out of the question
Just one race for this evening, Pusher, just to answer your question in the in the Twitch chat there. For those that are wondering what Pusher Dino asked, just said, is this the first race of the evening? Just the one race for both of the weekend leagues this evening. Normal service will be resumed next week for two races. So let's just run you through the order after this chaos. Now that everybody is pitted, Fake Nutson leads the way in the Red Bull. He started, <laughs> would you believe, down in ninth place. He is up eight positions. Mikey started 15th. He's now running in second place. Then it's Spanel in third. Il Checho is fourth. The safety car is in this lap, so we'll get underway shortly. JB Surreal in the AlphaTauri is fifth. He's up seven places. Melo Bello is sixth. Cable Monkey seventh. J Dog is eighth. Aaron Alley 9th and FLV Ricky rounds out the top 10. Scatcher is 11th, Sutty Boy 12th with Kobe P 13th, T Money 14th, Anzar in 15th, Uitsi Toy TA 16th after the contact at the start, and Sick Boy is 17th. But how will Fake Nutson handle this restart? Everybody on intermediate tyres, who will get the run into turn one? Fake Nutson doing everything he can to try and make a gap, and he's gone. Has he? No, he's stopped. Now he's gone. And everyone trying to stay on the back of him. That's a decent restart for Fake Nuts. And he's got a little bit of a gap to Mikey, who himself has a gap to Spanel. But he's under threat is him from the Aston Martin. There's been contact at the back. Here comes Il Checho to the inside. Breaks a little bit later to Spanel. He doesn't want to give this position up. Side by side, the two Williams have made contact. Mikey's got away with it somehow because Il Checho went through the gravel track and JMB Surreal goes up to fourth as a result. What a restart. And Fake Knutson will be rubbing his hands with glee. He's got a two-second gap to Mikey and Spanel. Those two teammates have got to work together if they want to catch that Red Bull. But Fake Knutson will be the happiest man on the planet if he can keep this up. He's pulling away as well, so this is a great restart for the Red Bull. There's JMB Surreal up to fourth place. If he gets a podium, he'll be very happy. He's all over the back of the Williams. But he's got a penalty, so he's got to factor that in. He's got to get past as soon as possible. That's a Mercedes round. It's Cable Monkey, who's hit the wall on the exit of turn number seven at Lesmo 2. So that's unfortunate for him. Mikey picks up a time penalty, and this allows Spanel up into second place as it stands. But I've got to say... Mikey's pulling away from his teammates. Here comes Il Checho up the inside. I said he'd be one to watch, and he gets past the Alpha Tauri for fourth. He nearly lost the back end. But he keeps it in a straight line around turn 11 at the curve Alberetto. Five laps to go. Il Checho trying to close that gap to the Williams in front of him for third place. Spano feeling the need to go defensive. Oh, Il Checho's got that all wrong. Oh, he rejoined it a really awkward way as well then. That's certainly not going to help him. And he's lost a lot more time than what he would have wanted. As Tutti Boy and Haran Ali fight for sixth place, there's a whole host of chaos going on around this circuit. But the two Williamses running in second and third. Il Checho's fourth. He's got Milo Bello who gets that all wrong at the second chicane. And that's going to allow Tutti Boy to get on the ARS and go through. And he does. Haran Ali, though, couldn't get past him. Oh, just ran into the back of the Alpha Tauri. Did Milo, did Haran Ali then? Oh, that's Milo Bello wide at the exit of turn two. Lesmo two, that should be. And Haran Ali goes up to sixth. And it's Fake Knutson who leads the way with five laps to go. The Red Bull out in front. James Valls will then be the happiest CEO in second and third. His two men are there on the podium, but they're under pressure from Il Checho and Tutti Boy, who has found some speed this evening in the Alpine. He looks very quick, and he's put a little bit of pressure on Il Checho on the exit of turn 11 there, but he's not quite close enough for now. And Tutsi Boy, unfortunately, though, has to serve his drive through. And he goes into the pits. And that might be that for the Alpine. So that puts Haran Ali up into fourth place. That is a Ferrari off. I think that's Scatcher who's gone off. Oh, Mikey and Spanel are fighting hard over second place. That's Ants over the fastest lap of the race. Not a surprise, really. Spanel looking to the inside, but he's not going to break any later. Spanel will not make any stupid moves. 
but that's a good switch back from the Williams and through goes Spanel for second position that was a really good move Mikey just went a little bit too deep into the second chicane and that is a change of position now could Spanel make any impression on Fake Knutson in front Fake Knutson's 3.4 seconds clear what a story this would be if Fake Knutson or Spanel won the first ever race El Checho going for Mikey into a scary there's contact between the two Mikey's off into the gravel that was a bit clumsy between the pair of them like contact I'm not quite certain what happened there but they've both lost places certainly Mikey has compared to Will Checho that might be investigated after the race I'm sure it will do So, after that shakes the order out a little bit, Il Checho's in third place, Haranelli is fourth after all this, despite being 17th at one point, the Mercedes is in fourth. He's got Mikey looking for a remove at the inside, who will be very angry at the situation. Usually TA got that all wrong into turn one, and he's been pushed off by Kobe, but Kobe doing a decent thing, just slowing down for him. Oh, although having said that, Usually TA has made a bit of a meal of it. And he drops down to eighth place. There has been carnage and chaos, no matter where you look in this race so far. And now, Haran Ali and Il Checho are fighting for third place. That's allowed Spanel just to pull away from the rest of that group, but he's not closing the gap on fake nuts, and who must be beside himself at his current predicament. JMB Surreal picks up a time penalty. There is a yellow flag. That's the Ferrari of Scatcher, who go in a little bit slowly there, but he's okay. Kept it pointing in a straight line. Mikey in fifth. Kobe P on debut in sixth position here. He's doing a really good job. He's on for fifth at the moment. Sick Boy picks up a time penalty. There's fights all over the field. So we're following. Cable Monkey at the moment behind T-Money for ninth place. T-Money going very deep at the final corner. Struggles to get on the power, does the Red Bull. And through goes Cable Monkey for ninth place. And that's Mikey getting overtaken by Kobe P. I think Mikey had a little mistake there. On the exit of that final corner. Mikey's gone right off the circuit, actually. He's been given a five-second time. But oh, Kobe P's made a mistake. Oh, he's made an error, and that's going to be USC Toy TA and Milo Bello past, who are fighting in their own little battle at the moment for sixth position. USC Toy TA looking to the outside line. Is he going to break a little bit later? Yes, but he skates off the road. Milo Bello just needs to get the line right, and sure enough, he does. And back through goes the Alpha Tauri. It's almost as if nobody wants to finish in the top three this evening. It's absolutely crazy, this race. Wow, wow, wow. So whilst all this is going on, Fake Nuts is four seconds clear of Spanel, who's one and a half clear of Haran Ali, who's got past Il Checho whilst all that has gone on. Haran Ali, after starting third, all the chaos at the start, he now finds himself incredibly back where he qualified and closing on Spanel in front of him. We go on to the penultimate lap as Melo Bello goes up the inside of Kobe P. This has been a crazy race. This is the first round of the season. Doesn't count towards any points, but my goodness, this will be talked about for some time as Kobe P re-overtakes Melo Bello. Just about... Oh, Milo Bello getting forced over onto the grass. A lot of chaos there. They live to fight another day. Aaron Ali just trying to get the car slowed down for the first couple of corners. Pusha D, you know, asking, has it been raining since the start of the race? It has done. I thought it would have dried up by now, but it certainly hasn't. But Aaron Ali is putting pressure in this fight for second place there's a lot of time penalties that are going to be applied after this race so these tyres are certainly not finished 
like the RK13. He's just been overtaken by Italy Toy. He's got 13 second worth of time, pals. So he's not going to finish in the top 10, unfortunately, for him. Oh, you is a toy all over the curbs. And Mikey says thank you very much and goes straight back fast. But then you is a toy will have the slipstream. He's got to look to the inside line. Is he going to try and break later? He tries, but Mikey just about holds on to that position. And you is a toy TA ran into the back of the Williams. Mikey stays in fifth on circuit. Aaron Alley's not close enough to the back of Spandle for a move into turn one. That Williams looks very quick in a straight line. How often have we said that this season in Formula One? But we have one last lap. Fake Knutson has got eight corners to go before he takes his first winning gather. And what a story that will be. Spanel on for his best ever finish as well. Providing he can hold off Haran Ali for third place. Second place is Il Checho, of course, just a little bit further back. Mikey hanging on to fifth. He gets hit into the back of the USLE 28. We've seen this a number of times last season. USLE gets very frustrated. He's got to keep a calm head. Get past Mikey. Then it's Kobe P, Cable Monkey, Ansar, and Melo Bello in the top ten. USLE Toy trying to get past this Williams for fifth place. It's going to go to the inside line. And there shouldn't be much of a problem this time, but Mikey tries to fight it. He can't go round there. I'm going to cut further forward, though, and I hope Gavra follows fake nuts around this final corner because it's going to be for the first time in Gavra racing. Fake Nutson is a race winner here at Monza. What a story. Spano gets his first ever victory. Podium in second place. I say first ever podium, first ever second place. Aaron Ali third. You Italy toy to yet. What has happened there? He's ended up facing the wrong way. So that's Kobe P who ends up four. Ansar, after all, that is fifth. Milo Bello sixth. You Italy toy seventh. Ricky eighth. Cable Monkey in ninth. Mikey does get a point in the end. Il Checho, sick boy, tutty boy. That's a lot of chaos after all of that. Wow. Take a moment for a breather, everyone. What a frenetic race that was. JMB Surreal's just coming round the final corner now. Well, well, well. What a race. What a chaotic evaluation race we've just had here for the Tier 2 Weekend League. Driver of the day goes to Ricky, apparently. There was so much action, anybody could have been driver of the day, realistically. But the man I would give it to is our race winner, Fake Knutson. His first ever victory in Gavra Racing. What a moment for him. Really pleasing result. He, he takes the victory. The Norwegian wins by four and a half seconds from Spanland, who gets his best finish in Gavra Racing with second. He's had a number of third places, but that's second on the podium step. Haran Ali, what a recovery in the end to finish third. Kobe P in fourth. Antzar showing how quick he is to finish in fifth place. Maybe he should be in tier one. Melo Bello in sixth place. Uithli Toy TA in seventh. After a lot of chaos, it has to be said. FRV Ricky ends up eighth. He started 17th. He ends up in the points. Cable Monkey ninth. Mikey RK 13 in 10th place. Il Checho 11th. Sick Boy in 12th. Sooty Boy 13th. Team Money 14th. Scatcher, J Dog, and Jay to Real all round out the finishes. We had no retirements today, which is really pleasing for everybody to see. So, fake nuts in a very happy man, I'm sure. I'm sure there'll be a lot of comments to be said, though, after this. That was a very, very strong set of action-packed, drama-filled laps that we had here in the F1 Weekend League 2. Of course, this is the evaluation race. It doesn't count towards 
anything in terms of the driver's standings or points for constructors. That will start next week when we come across our five round season, our five race season with 10 rounds across the board. Australia, Melbourne will be the first race. No interviews for this evening because it is, of course, the evaluation race, but we will be back for two races at Australia. Tune in in two hours' time. We'll be facing the Weekend League Tier 1 drivers go around Monza. Whether we'll have wet weather for the 35% race, who knows. But I've been Jack TM53, your commentator for Gava Racing here at the Weekend League Tier 2. Wherever you might be in the big wide world, have a good one. See you at 8.